Before proceeding, a review of the functions of the mode selector switch on the engine master panel is useful. When the switch is moved to the ignition start position, four things happen. One, the full authority digital engine controls are repowered. Paydex are powered for five minutes, then go to sleep. Two, the engine master levers and the manual start switches are armed. Three, the engine system page automatically appears on the lower ECAM. Four, the air conditioning flow control valves automatically close. The normal sequence for automatic engine starts is number one first, then number two. During an auto start, the full authority digital engine control manages the entire operation. For this illustration, we will use APU air. Notice that all indications on the upper ECAM related to the engines are displayed in amber. To start the engines, the engine mode selector must first be switched to the ignition start position. Switch the engine mode selector to ignition start. The full authority digital engine controls are now energized and engine parameters are displayed on the engine warning display. The N1 and N2 gauges remain amber as long as their respective value remains below 3.5%. Note that the ECAM engine page has automatically replaced the door oxygen page. On the engine system display page, bleed pressure is displayed in green. Minimum recommended pressure for start is green while the starter is rotating. The next step is to switch on the engine one master lever. Switch on engine number one. When the number one start valve opens, the indication changes from green cross line to green in line. At this time, the low pressure fuel valve opens. The fuel used counter is reset to zero. On the upper ECAM, N2 increases. It is displayed on a gray background above 3.5%. On the ECAM engine page, the oil pressure increases. In order to provide a more uniform cooling for an already hot engine, the full authority digital engine control will motor the engine for 30 seconds. At that point, an igniter is powered. The active igniter is indicated by its letter, A or B, on the ECAM engine page. The high pressure fuel valve also opens. This is indicated on the upper ECAM by the indication of fuel flow. Above 3.5%, N1 indication changes from crossed amber to green. There must be N1 indication by 34% N2. Within 20 seconds of fuel flow, the EGT and N1 increase. When N2 reaches 43%, the start valve closes and the ignition stops. On the ECAM engine page, the start valve shows closed and the igniter indication disappears. N2 continues increasing. It should stabilize at about 58% and the gray background should disappear, indicating that the start sequence is finished. Engine number two is started using the same procedure. However, during the second engine start, the hydraulic power transfer unit is tested.
When number two is running, the mode selector switch is returned to normal. The engine page is replaced by the wheel page. Also notice that the aircraft gross weight is now displayed in the lower right hand corner of the system display. If the engine mode selector is switched back to ignition start, continuous ignition from both A and B igniters is activated. The indication appears in green in the memo portion of the upper ECAM. We will see now how to manually start the engines. The main difference between a manual and an automatic start is that the pilot controls the time at which fuel and ignition are supplied to the engine. The full authority digital engine control only provides passive monitoring of the engine during the start sequence. This means that responsibility for preventing an over-limit start remains with the pilot. Note. Manual starts must be accomplished in accordance with the procedure in the irregular section of the manual. During a manual start, full authority digital engine control retains control of the closure of the start valve at 43% and 2 and ignition cutoff on the ground. The configuration is the same. On the engine warning display, all indications related to the engines are displayed in amber as long as the full authority digital engine controls are not powered. In order to start the engines, the engine mode selector must be switched to ignition start first. When the selector is in the ignition start position, the full authority digital engine controls are energized and the engine parameters are displayed on the engine warning display. The engine ECAM page is displayed automatically. Due to the proximity of equipment to engine 1, engine 2 is frequently started first when using external air. Therefore, we will start engine 2 first. The engine manual start push button switches control their respective start valves. To start engine 2, raise the guard and select engine manual start 2 push button switch. Open number 2 manual start switch. On the ECAM engine page, the corresponding start valve opens. On the engine start panel, on illuminates blue on the manual start 2 push button, indicating that the start valve has opened. On the engine warning display, N2 increases. On the ECAM engine page, the oil pressure increases. N2 continues increasing to max motoring speed. Max motoring occurs when the rate of N2 acceleration is less than 1% in 5 seconds. At max motoring, select engine 2 master switch on. On the ECAM engine page, the fuel used is reset. Both igniters are activated. On the engine warning display, fuel flow is indicated. When N2 reaches 43%, the start valve closes and ignition stops. N2 continues increasing. At about 58%, it stabilizes and the gray background disappears, indicating that the start sequence is finished. Engine number 2 is running and all its parameters are stabilized. Switch off number two engine manual start push button. The manual start sequence is finished. If required, engine one can be started in a similar manner, or the cross bleed start procedure in the manual may also be used.